Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the O-Ray HDA927 ARC Audio Extractor. This product allows you to use older soundbars that are not ARC compliant with your newer media gear by stripping the audio from the media stream and allowing you to pass that through an HDMI connection to your soundbar for the perfect audio experience. Now I'll explain exactly how the product works a little later, but I thought I would start with an unboxing of the product first just to show you what's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own media gear, and then I'll come back and give you a few examples. Now the reason this is important is because most of the new gear you buy will have HDMI ARC capabilities, but if you have an older soundbar that doesn't understand the audio return channel capabilities of ARC, you won't be able to pass audio to it. This product allows you to fix that by stripping the audio from that media stream it passes through the device and send that to the soundbar. The best part about it is the product will fully support 4K ultra high definition media through the device and it also has adjustments on there for both ARC and EARC so it's compatible with a wide range of products as well as EDID settings that can follow output number one or output number two to adjust the resolution that's sent to the monitor. So stay tuned and next what I'll do is take a closer look at the product and explain some of the features. Inside the kit, you'll find the audio extractor, a power cable that has a micro USB connection on one end and a USB A connection on the other end. The micro USB end plugs into the extractor, and the other end can plug into any standard USB wall charger. And that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other information you'll need to understand in order to use the product with your own equipment. The HDA927 features a full aluminum enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the one end of the product, starting on the left-hand side, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all of the electronics to make sure everything is working fine. And once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that is a power input port, and that's used with the included cable. This is a micro USB port, so you simply plug the micro USB end of the cable in here, and the other end of that cable has a full-sized USB-A connection that you can plug into any standard USB charger. To the right of that are two adjustment switches, EARC and EDID. The EARC allows you to accommodate a wide range of media devices, and you can choose between EARC or just standard ARC by flipping that switch. The right switch controls the EDID settings. You can either follow output number one or output number two for the synchronization of the monitor you're going to connect up to the product. And you can make that adjustment as needed for your media gear. These two adjustments allow this to accommodate a wide range of media products. To the right of that is a full-size HDMI port, and that will connect up to whatever media device you'd like to pass through the product and share that audio with your home stereo system. On the other side of the unit, you'll find two full-size HDMI ports. The one on the left is an output port for your local monitor. You'll connect an HDMI cable from here to your monitor, and you can enjoy the content that's passing through the extractor. The one on the right is, again, an HDMI port. You'll use a cable from here to your audio device, whether it be a sound bar or home stereo system. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy the audio that's passing through this device. That's pretty much all there is to it for the extractor. Now I'll show you two different scenarios where the HDA927 can come in really handy. And for this demonstration, over here I have a media player set up that'll represent my input device. And this can be anything you own today that has a standard HDMI connection on it, like a DVD player, a game console, or in this case a Roku player. Over here I have a TV set up that has two available HDMI ports on it. One of them is a standard HDMI input port. The other one is an HDMI ARC port. And here I have an older soundbar. Now normally, if you have a newer TV and a newer soundbar that both understand ARC, you can simply connect the media player up to any available HDMI port on your TV and then run a second cable from the HDMI ARC port down to your soundbar. And because of the audio return channel capabilities of the TV, it'll actually display the image on the TV and send the sound down to your soundbar for the best possible audio. The problem I've got is it's an older soundbar. It doesn't understand ARC at all, and that's where the HDA927 comes in. So in that scenario, you'll connect up the media player to the HDMI input port on the unit, and in the rear there are two more HDMI ports. HDMI 1 will connect up to the monitor, and that is going to transmit the video to the monitor in full 4K ultra high definition resolution. So it's going to give you the exact picture you get if you connected it up directly. But the important thing is the HDA 927 strips the audio from that media stream and outputs it through that second HDMI port. So you'll run another cable from that output number 2 to your soundbar, 
and that'll actually stream the audio to your soundbar and you can use an older soundbar with newer equipment. So it really allows you to get a lot more use out of your older equipment. Now the second place this comes in handy is again if you've got an older soundbar and maybe a newer TV that's a smart TV and you're running applications on it, in that scenario you would connect the HDMI ARC port on the back to the input on this unit right here and that would allow that media to stream through the device and this product would actually strip the audio from that and you'll connect the output number two to your soundbar and that allows you to watch the media content here and have the audio funneled to the soundbar through the HDA 927. Now both of those scenarios really allow you to extend the useful life of your equipment by just using this product in between those two. And because you have control over both ARC and EARC as well as the EDID settings, it really does support a wide range of different products. And it really is just that simple to use it. So hopefully you found this clip helpful. I really appreciate all the viewership we've gotten and I hope you find these clips interesting. And until next time, stay nerdy.